God bless you, family. King Jesus bless you. So the, the devil must know his time is short because there are so many headlines and um, irons in the fire that um, the devil is coming at us with, all meant to, to get in our heads, to discourage us, to make us fearful. Um, we need to definitely be in God's word. So you guys may have heard of the headline, <clears throat> Son Beheads His Own Father on YouTube Livestream. Uh, these times we live in, um, we live in an abandonment, uh, abandonment, wrath of God timetable. Uh, read Romans 1. This talks a lot about that. So this talks about how the Lord has led people over to their desires and their sin. And in this country, by and large, that, that's what's happened. <clears throat> it's not what's coming. It's what has happened. Um, it speaks of there's first like a sexual revolution and a homosexual revolution and then all manners of wickedness. Man, and this is what I thought of when I heard of this story. So, I mean, from the headline I just read, you know, basically, I ain't going to speak much more on it. It's pretty obvious, you know, what happened. And uh, who cares the rationale? It's, it's wicked and evil to do such a thing. Um, it makes me think of in Romans 1, towards the end of that chapter, verse 29, verse 28 even, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. In the Greek, that means like, a, I think it, it, I was just listening to a, a sermon on this, like a broken, like broken, you, you, you can't think right. That's uh, this reprobate mind. To do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, right? All unrighteousness. Here's a litany of that covetousness, malice, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Okay, that's that's the part that struck me, the disobedient to parents uh, in connection with that whole litany. Um, this is telltale signs that uh, people have been the string has been cut. They've been given over to their own devices. So it's par for the course. This madness that we see, uh, it's no fun. It's um, its disgusting, but its everything is happening as it, as it should be, you know, for given the, the circumstances of a, of a nation and a people given over um, to this abandonment wrath of God. There's many types of wrath of God. The abandonment wrath of God we see in Romans 1. You have the eschatological wrath of God, which we see in the book of Revelation. Um, we have that, that eternal wrath of the hellfire. So this is some of that that's here currently. So uh, things aren't going to get better. But the good news is the Lord continues to save people in pockets. Uh, there will always be that remnant, not the majority. And uh, we get to play a part in that as well. Praise the Lord. So I just wanted to uh, speak briefly on that, of course. Um, also, the headline, FBI director warns that Chinese hackers are preparing to wreak havoc on Americans and communities. They're, they're, they're showing their hand. <clears throat> like I spoke about yesterday, the devil is always, uh, he, he's overplaying and overshowing his hand. So they're, they're basically telling us <coughs> what I believe the American government is going to do on us. They're, they're going to blame the Chinese. It's probably going to be them, um, maybe working together with the Chinese. We already know this, uh, the tyrant in the White House currently, I mean, he's trying to wreck and bring this nation low. Um, it's all by God's allowance. God has put this man in uh, his position to um, another form of judgment on this nation, uh, unfortunately. Um, but I have a good scriptural word of hope at the end of all this. Anyways, as I see this headline... Uh, so this is coming. Hopefully, we, the believers in Jesus, are gone before this happens. But this is this is coming, and I believe this is uh, the American government just showing their hand that, that they're going to do this to us. Uh, they're just going to blame the Chinese. Um, <clears throat> oh, what else did I want to speak on? Oh, yeah, this also. Christian coffee shop in Colorado, viciously harassed by alphabet community activists. So this persecution on believers is going to continue. Jesus said you'll have trouble in this world. They will hate you. He's like, 
He said, know that they hated me first. So guys, um, as we go out there bold for Jesus, you know, we have to be aware of our surroundings, you know, just for our physical safety as well. Uh, th there's no such thing as just, you know, going to the store real quick, you know, or going to uh, meet a buddy for some coffee. Like, you got to be careful where you are. I would say, uh, like, know your exits, watch doors. I like to sit everywhere where I can kind of face a door so I can see people who come in. And uh, keep an eye on people if they look sketchy or if you're, the Holy Spirit in you kind of gives you a sense, you know. Um, you want to be, that conscience is there for a reason. It's not seared, so we need to pay attention to it. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I just wanted to speak on a few of those pieces. Um, but, again, it's par for the course. Uh, the scriptures will always tell us about these things, the disobedient to parents and all manners of unrighteousness. A son cuts off his father's head. You know, his father took part in making him, and, and a thing like this happens. No matter how wicked your, uh, your, your parents may be, may have been, um, in the Ten Commandments, the Decalogue, um, the mouth of God, you know, the, the commandment to honor your mother and father is the first commandment with a promise, so that what does it say, so that you may have long life, or so that it may be good with you, I think it's long life so um, yeah, these are the these are the days of sorrows for sure, this stuff is, is sad, um, right so <clears throat> this stuff forces us uh, encourages us and forces us in a certain sense to get in scripture more to pray more to go for maybe a, a, a quiet walk and speak to the Lord. Lord, this world is freaky. I, I don't recognize this. I hate this place. Jesus, comfort me. Give me wisdom. Give me understanding. Help me. What do you want me to do? How do I make sense of this? Um, you know, in the, in the quiet, we can sometimes hear that still, small voice in the scripture as well, but uh, we might want to incorporate different things to uh, seek the Lord to make sense and to just recalibrate and balance as we go through uh, this freaky stuff. So the abandonment of wrath of God is on America. It's on many nations. It's here. So we're God's people. We live in the midst of it. What are we to do? What of us? What's going to happen? Guys, I heard, uh, uh, like I was mentioning, preaching earlier, and the scripture from the last book in the Old Testament was read. And I really like it. I want to bless you guys with it and close this out here. From Malachi 3, verse 16. Malachi 3, 16. <clears throat> Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. Sounds like that fellowship, right? We got to be talking to each other, to believers. And the Lord hearkened, and the Lord hears that when we're fellowshipping and talking about holy, good, godly things. And heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him, the Lord, for them, us, that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Verse 17. And they, us, shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. In that day when I make up my jewels, hmm, and I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Wow. Okay, so we're in the abandonment wrath of God. Um, the depraved minds, the broken minds, they don't think right. It is so evident and obvious. And, you know, reading that in Romans 1 today really helped me in terms of when I see the madness, I'm like, okay, they they can't do but think foolishly. Their mind is broken. Um, but uh, the Lord will spare us in verse 17 there. So even though we're in the midst of this wrath and our, our southern border is so porous and invaded, we have enemies here. I hear Russia wants to put some nukes in Cuba for the first time since the 60s. Um, Iran is ready to probably got a ton of nukes ready to go. Um, North Korea, China, um, you know, they're, they're all going to support uh, Russia, are going to support Iran. Everything's looking crazy. Everyone and a lot of nations hate America. We are so goofy with our leadership and culture. We are polluting and corrupting the world. I bet you many nations are like, America lost it. We'd be better without them. Right? And we live, many of us live here in America. But the Lord promises a, to us in Malachi 3 here, he's got a book of remembrance. And we who fear the Lord are in it. <clears throat> we who fellowship with one another, we who love Jesus, love the Lord, have been transformed by him, have his Holy Spirit in us. They shall be mine, saith the Lord. So despite the wrath of whatever, we are the Lord's. The 
Lord who spoke and created, who has all power and sovereignty. In the, that day when I make up my jewels, I don't know what that is. That sounds pretty awesome, though. And I will spare them. The Lord will spare us. So that's an encouraging word, right? Sometimes I get a little freaked out, and I'm like, oh, man. Uh, before it used to be, like, months, years ago, um, like, you know, I hope this stuff doesn't happen, you know, uh, hope I don't see too much stuff. And now it's just like, I hope it doesn't hurt too bad because I, we feel the stuff clamping in around us. But then when we read something like Malachi 3, 16 and 17, it says that the Lord will spare us. So the Lord is holding us in his hand. Indeed, to the ends of the earth, he is with us. Scripture, scripture, scripture. <laughs> Keep reading that scripture, guys. Keep praying, incorporating the fasting. And guys, if anyone is watching, you don't know King Jesus, read some scripture. Go from John to Revelation. Do that twice. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Roll the dice. Give it a shot. You know this world is, is messed up. You know things are broken and, and going from bad to worse. What's the answer? I don't know. Like, well, what can I do? You can definitely try Jesus. I'm not saying church or I'm not saying um, anything like that. I mean, it's a relationship with Jesus. Jesus is God. He wasn't just a prophet or a man or a rabbi or a good person. God, that was the whole plan to come down, be one of us so he could be the, the, the sacrifice for us. That was his whole purpose. If you're reading the scripture, it, it all in one way or another points to the fact that uh, to Jesus, who is God, who is the escape route, we need him. There is no other way. Jesus said, I am the way. And no one comes to the Father but by the Son. Uh, and the three are one. The soul is the Father. The Spirit is the Holy Spirit. Uh, the man, the body, the flesh is Christ. Um, God himself. So... Um, yeah, be, be encouraged by that word, guys. Uh, the news is really bad today hearing that, that terrible stuff with the son and his father. But, uh, okay, we got our hands to the plow, so we must look forward, forgetting those things which lay behind. And this just happened, but forget it. Keep going. It's going to be fireworks and explosions going off around us like you're in a battle. You're running. Boom, boom, boom. It's whizzing by like the devil is coming and attacking, trying to kill us, trying to shipwreck us. But uh, with all eyes on King Jesus, you know, it's going to be okay. So I hope this word encouraged you guys. Appreciate you watching my video today. Uh, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And please do share my video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. God bless you.